So it's definitely a battle to get them through this grass, but at any rate, we'll just poke along, keep going, we'll get there. Nice and slowly. Lambs are in good order and the ewes are in good order. We've had a very good spring. Been remarkable, really. Anyway, let's go out to all the fellows down on the flat that have flooded out. It's really bad news. I mean, they've had drought, COVID, mouse plagues and floods. There's not a lot, not a lot of good news for some of those fellows. Yeah, remarkable their resilience, really. Uh, Always a bit tricky getting them into the yards. Come here, Pud. Made even a bit worse by the fact that there's so much grass in the yard. Come here, Pud. 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 Come out of it. All right. So, morning, viewers. Morning. Long time, no talk. <laughs> so this morning we're doing some lamb marking. Um, we've got maybe 120 odd lambs to do in this mob. It's been a very wet spring and uh, there's a lot of long grass about, so it's very slow to bring them up this morning through the grass. Uh, all right, they've mothered up and dried out a bit, so we're ready to go. Let's yep. crack on and do got, a bit of lamb marking. Got the new lamb marking cradle. Oh yeah, we've got a new lamb marking yep. cradle. Yep. Yeah, we borrowed the neighbours last year, and uh, we thought it was such a good one that we decided to upgrade our old one. Uh, beauty, this one is it tips them out. Any anyway, right? So yeah. yeah, we're just going to take it easy. We're just doing one mob every day for a week, and uh, that should get us done uh, about 600, give or take, and we'll see how we go. Yeah. All right, let's go. So we're not really wearing masks to keep the uh, COVID out of the sheep. Because there's a lot of pollen in the air. Okay, so what are you doing there, Sweet? You're giving them a six in one and a barbervax and taking the horns off the weathers. Tip off the horns in the weathers. So I'm putting a tag in their ear and putting a ring on to castrate the rams. And a dose of Numb nuts, which is an anaesthetic, and then a ring on for the tail, and a dose of numb nuts for that one as well. A squirt of click, and that's done. So the ear tag is an electronic tag, and it's going in the near side ear of the. Uh, weathers and the offside of the ewes. So the electronic tag has got a chip in it so that you can uh, identify them electronically which is good for traceability. It's not mandatory yet but I suspect that in a few years time it will become mandatory as part of the uh, uh, biosecurity requirements. We just find it handy because uh, it means that we can easily track the data in the use. Maybe a little bit superfluous for the weather, but maybe not. So we're just letting the use out of that pen and counting them. So the anaesthetic is called Numacane, but it's actually a, it's actually Lignocane. That's what people use as well. So you pull the sack up and then put your fingers down there and just make sure the testicles have come up. And we've got both of them. And the tail. And then a squirt of to prevent the fly strike. And this might be working properly. And we get to the last tag, last two tags in this thing. We've got to be pretty careful because they don't feed very well. 
what you want is that the tail will cover the vulva when it comes off. So that's the vulva there. You want the tail to come cover that. Got to reload the tag gun. Twenty tags in a little batch. Works pretty well on the lambs ears. This thing doesn't work quite so well on the adult ears. The, um, the pin on the tag tends to bend in the harder it all is because we're only a two-man operation it's pretty steady this today but uh, you can always if you've got somebody else there's always room for another person or two into the system and that can speed it up considerably but we're not in a hurry it's not hot or cold that's right so not really stressing anything, so it's pretty good. It's what we want. Time for a sit down and a Time for a sit down and a rest, eh? So, very pleased with the cradle. It's a well-engineered machine. It's got a tapered roller bearing down the bottom there and uh, a ball bearing up the top. Um, that means it runs pretty smoothly compared to the ones that run on bushes. Got a handy table there for tray for putting stuff on and a handy thing for hanging the vaccines on. There's only two of us in the operation at the moment, so it's quite steady. Um, but as you can see, if you added more people in, that would make it go a bit quicker. Small mobs doing them in the morning when it's fairly cool. So, oh, that little fellow's not too happy about proceedings. So, as I was saying, we're only doing small mobs in the morning when it's fairly cool. Um, so, we don't have to hurry it. We just Smoke long steady, we don't have to bring them in far and we don't have to take them away far as well, so makes it a fairly straightforward job. So that's it, we're all finished and um, it's a day later than the, most of the other filming but this is the last mob huh, and uh, it's a mob of singles, they're good to have finished the job and we're uh, taken back to the paddock and that'll be the job done. Um, I think we're just short of 100% of our landing percentage this year, 99 or something that'll probably work out at, um, which is not too bad considering we had quite a lot of maidens this year and we had to sell some of our older ewes which were twin bearing from last year so we're reasonably comfortable with that um, so the grass is certainly pretty long in this paddock um, had to slash a track through it <laughs> probably get the sheep through this one um, yeah we, we weren't able to use this paddock for lambing the grass was already too long by the time lambing came around so um, anyway it's just an indication of what a good season it's been and we're certainly not complaining that's for sure it's a good thing A good crop of lambs, these ones. Mm -hmm. High fives! High fives! Thumbs up! Very good! 
Thanks for watching.